Why don't yep. you take us through the most recent releases, 15 through 10? I'd love to do that, Jenna. Thank you. And again, it's of the last 50 years. So Wilt and Russell, among others, are not eligible. But Wilt and Russell obviously would be here. But so keep that in mind. Number 15 is Isaiah Thomas, the man previously considered the greatest small player ever. One of the most underrated players of all time. If you would like to talk more about Isaiah Thomas, just find me on the streets. And I would love that. That discussion right now is not the time. Number 14 is Giannis. More on him in a moment. Number 13 is Kevin Durant. Also, if you find me on the street, we can discuss mo these next two guys, Moses Malone and Dr. J. Chris Broussard and I are the only two people in the world that thinks the ABA actually existed and it should count when we're talking about what a guy accomplished. <laughs> and number 10 is Steph Curry. So, and you can again get, we have a 10 minute video on each and every one of those guys on the What's Right YouTube page. You check it out. So that leaves these nine guys that we're going to list in alphabetical order here that are going to be released in order nine to one over the next few weeks. So the question, Brew, is this. What would Steph have to do to pass anyone on this list? And I know you already have him ahead of a king. I disagree with you on that, but you already have him ahead of a king. And my answer is quite simply, Brew, I think the only way he could do it is another championship. I, because... Steph's regular season numbers are not befitting this list. He is 47th all-time in points. And I know he's still playing, but he's not going to add another 10,000. He just passed 20,000. He's 56th all-time in assists. He has, he's not even the number one Steph in assists. That's Marbury, right? So you might be like, okay, so it's not volume. He only has four first-team All-NBAs. Bird has nine. Kobe has 11. So the only way for, I mean, Steph right now is the same number of first team all NBAs as Giannis. Only one more than Luka. Yet I have him 10th of the last 50 years because of the winning, the how dynamic of an offensive force he is. The point I'm making is this. He's not going to pass any of those guys through by doing something else in the regular season. Unless he were to win another MVP, which I think is highly unlikely. It would have to be another championship. I don't think that's coming. On the other hand, I am certain Giannis is cracking that top 10. I would, barring devastating injury, Giannis is coming like a freight train for maybe everybody on the list, certainly everybody outside of the top five. So if Giannis is going to one day be in the top 10, he must kick someone out. I currently have Steph 10th of the last 50 years. He would, every time someone moves up, someone moves down. And I'm not even right. getting, getting to Victor Wimbayama, who might pass everybody. You see this French kid? Oh, my God. But he hasn't played yet. <laughs> Victor and Luca got to wait. But Giannis is coming for everybody. And so I, it's going to sound like I'm hating. I hope I've given the context. I think he's more likely to move down than move up. Because I think it's going to be incredibly hard for him to move up. And I think Giannis is going to pass him. Well, look, I think when you give out the numbers, I, I don't care about total points and total rebounds. And assist. totals is not the key for me. It's average because guys play different numbers of years. Uh, Bird's not very high on a lot of totals list. All right. Magic's what? Fifth on assist. He's the best passer by a mile of anybody that's ever played basketball. N not even close. And so I'm not I'm into the average. Magic has the highest average assist per game of any player. Steph, points per game, higher, same exactly as Larry Bird. But Steph's numbers went up scoring percentage. His scoring uh, per game went up in the playoffs and the finals. Bird's actually dropped slightly in the playoffs and the finals. And he averages more assists than Bird, who was a great passer. Maybe a better passer than Steph, but Steph averages more assists per game. So I... I think the numbers are fine. It's going to come down to winning for Giannis as well. Because let's face it, Nick, you know that you believe this of too. Course. If Giannis continues to put up these fantastic numbers, but does no, it win, win more rings, two more championships, two more to but he's not he cracking your top 10. I yep. don't think with just two championships. Okay. Right. But it's the same for That's Seth. Right. I, as I said earlier in the show, wilds, I think they got a great chance of winning another championship whether it's next year or the year after. So if he adds another ring, 
I think his chances are better of moving up. Another ring to me puts him past Bird. It, I think Nick, I think Nick, as a basketball player, you probably think Dr. J and Kevin Durant are better than Steph. And maybe Giannis is what, and I'm not mad at you for that, but you had to move Steph up because of the accomplishments. The accomplishments. My gosh, he's got four rings, yes. two without Durant. It's kind of like yep. Tom Brady. If he wins another ring, I think it's going to be the same thing. You're going to have to say, wow, I think Akeem really was better, but my goodness, he's got five rings, three without Durant, five to two. so I got to yes. move him up. So yeah. I do think he can move Got up. Him. I think the chance is wild, better he moves up. I, I well, think it's better that he moves up, too, if he gets another ring. Can, we, can I see the alphabetical well, list, Nick? And I want to, when I was watching it, I said, I can't believe these two guys are in danger of falling up, or excuse me, of falling off. If Steph was to move up, if we think Giannis is coming, if, you know, I like to think there's going to be somebody in the next that's going to define basketball for yeah, the next Luka. decade, probably Chet in the Frisky yeah. Magic. We'll his see. Name's Luka. Yeah, go Do ahead. you think Shaq is in danger of falling off here? Considering yes. that Shaq has another yes. top nine teammate there. And, and so yes. all of a sudden, no, like, I, could Steph jump yet. Shaq? Is that the first domino you see? Listen, falling? I, I want to. So I don't want to reveal again the. the I, I, nine and eight on my list come out on Sunday, but I'll reveal some of it. Shaq's one of those two. And yeah, so the thing with Shaq is Shaq has, as far as three can say, you, you take any player in league history of the greats and say put their three best finals cumulative together. Shaq's are better than Jordan's, LeBron's, Kareem's, Magic's, doesn't matter. But that is, that's not only the first paragraph of Shaq's resume, that's, that's like the first four paragraphs of his resume. And it was after that 2002 finals, he had a few other great moments, but not as many as you would think for a guy who played as long as he did. So yes, people could be coming for Shaquille O'Neal. I will defend Dream to, you know, to my dying death. He's 12th all time in scoring and the greatest defensive player of the color television era. Like maybe Bill Russell was better. I think the I think Akeem gets forgotten in this. And Brew, when you, I also don't think totals are everything, but I think when I think the extremes have to matter. So I think on my list, a lot of people were like, Nick, you have Dirk too high. Like he's sixth all time in points. Sixth all time in points. That's gotta matter, right? People, so the reason I mentioned that, we don't have to talk about Dirk. I think the totals matter if you are way outside of the standard deviations of the other great players. Steph Curry being 47th all time in points is jarring. I, he would, there are more than 20 guys with 25,000 points. So I think that, and you're right, Bird is another guy. But Bird, we say, okay, it is because his career was cut short due to, the, due to the back injury, and Bird was a far better passer, far better rebounder than Steph. So I just think that, I, I don't think totals are everything. I'm not arguing they are. But if you're not in the top 40 uh, all time of the things you do best, score and pass, that's noteworthy. And he's not in the top 40 of either of those yet. But again, I still have him 10th. I just think, so I, I agree with you guys. He would have to win a championship to move up. So then the question would become this, and I ask you guys quickly, what do you think is more likely, that Steph wins another ring or that Giannis wins multiple rings? Because I think it is far more likely that Giannis wins multiple. And then he's going to pass it. That's a great uh, You think it's That's more, a great question. Right? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, I think it's close. Because I do think Steph has a great chance of winning another ring. I do. But Maybe I also your think Giannis both, should get two more. Yeah, Maybe I mean, your I, answer I, is I both agree. are going to happen. Look, and, right. And, and both the championships are the key for all these guys. We're talking about Luka, Nick. I mean, we. I think Luka yeah. could crack a, the top ten. I mean, obviously you got some great players up there. But, yeah. it, it's, but it's going to come down to him winning the championships. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what, I mean, yeah. he's wow, he's that good, Wilds. But he's got to win a Mike, lot of titles. I mean, and I don't know. Again, will he crack the top ten? That the, all those guys have numbers and championships, and obviously just great games. Period. So maybe that it's tough, obviously, oh, wow. to get in the top ten. But 
It's all going to come down to championships. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from First Things First or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.